There will be no executions at the Terre Haute Federal Penitentiary this year. That's after a ruling by a federal judge. Good afternoon to you. I'm Susan Dinkle. It's Thursday, November 21st. You may recall earlier this year, the Department of Justice scheduled five people on death row for lethal injection. Now those executions are on hold indefinitely. We have team coverage for you this afternoon with today's top story. We begin with News 10's John Swanner. He explains more for you on the ruling. It's been 16 years since the last federal execution at the Terre Haute Federal Penitentiary. The government has been working the last eight years on its execution protocol, the method by which these executions will be carried out. And that's what four defendants challenged in court. Some of these defendants had hearings to further plead their cases, but some had hearings scheduled after their execution date set by the government. The judge sided with the defendants, saying they need more time and to simply be alive in order to have their challenges fully heard in court. It's simply saying that the government does not have congressional approval, congressional authority to use this execution procedure and proceed the way it plans to. But it's not a long term decision. It's not a final decision on carrying out executions. It's just one step in this litigation. That was attorney Megan McCracken, a Philadelphia based lawyer with experience and expertise in legal challenges involving methods of execution. She says it's difficult to see what happens from here with these four defendants. We should learn a lot more in the coming days. Back to you.